All right, already. Let's just move on. You two have been arguing about the low rider for 20 minutes. I'm dropping it in B tier. The low rider is nothing special. It's just a mini version of the Portora. The Portora is better than the low rider in every way. It packs more punch than the uh, Portora in a smaller packet. P -p -p Portora, is your teleprompter bugging out on you? Shut up, Donald. You're just mad that I know how to read. The low rider deserves to be an A tier, but I'm with Barack. Let's move on. Let's talk about a plant that I think we can all agree on, the variegated alocasia. This plant gets dropped right into S tier. Uh-uh, no way. The variegated alocasia, seriously? It's the most overrated of all the elephant ears. You want real variegation? Try the elepeo. We're not discussing colocasius right now, Donald. Yeah, try to stay on topic. Whatever, variegated alocasia? That's not even a proper name. If variegation is in the name, you guys will automatically simp over it. There's no way, no how, it even breaks A tier. There's a reason why people poach this plant and sell it on eBay for like 10 grand. It slaps. It's not 2021 anymore, Joe. No one is paying that kind of price anymore. That's true, but it's still a hot plant. I'm putting an A tier for now. Fine. Next up is the Stingray. The Stingray is really cool. I agree, it's one of a kind, but it's really just got its shape going for it. The stem is meh, and the color is consistent throughout. That's true, I think we can comfortably drop it in B tier. Works for me. Put the Golden Dragon in the S tier. Right here, right now. I keep a large collection of dragon alocasias in my penthouse. The Golden Dragon is by far my favorite. Do you have them potted up in your golden pot? Huh? I think that's a reference to your golden toilet, Donald. Yeah, it was. Your toilet probably makes a pretty effective self-waterer. Shut up, Joe. I'm not ashamed to say I like golden things. If they made a coal alocasia, that'd probably be your favorite. There's actually a colocasia with a name like that. Yeah, the coal miner colocasia. Now that's a plant. Big fan of coal miners, are we, Joe? Aren't you trying to put them all out of work? Besides, you just proved my point. And look who's off topic now. The golden dragon's elongated leaves are definitely interesting, but there's not much going on beyond that in the light green color. I think it's B-tier material at best. I'm fine with B-tier. With two Corinthians as my witness, I will log out right now if you put the golden dragon anywhere below A-tier. My tier list, my rules, we can make it an A- minus at best. Fine, whatever. Before you guys say anything, I think Quilted Dreams should go in S-tier. The leaf pattern looks surreal, almost like it was man-made, hand-stitched. Of course you would like Quilted Dreams, Sleepy Joe. Do you need a glass of milk before I tuck you into bed with your grandma's quilt? Sorry, Joe, you lobbed that one right over the plate. Shut up, Donald. At least I still get to take naps in the White House. Honestly, Joe, the Quilted Dreams is pretty average as far as alocasias go. It's mid, so very mid. If your favorite alocasias can get A's, so can mine. Joe, it's two, one. The best I can do is B tier, but it should really go lower. Let's just keep going. Let's do the reticulata next. I think there is a serious case to place this one in S tier. The reticulata is perhaps the most interesting of all the alocasias. Not only are its leaves variegated, but the striped stem is really eye-catching. The striped stem is very unique, and the leaf shape is a winner. It's definitely S tier material. Yeah, let's put it in S tier. Glad to see we finally agree on something. How about the zebrina? It's like the reticulata, but without the variegated leaf. Oh yeah, S tier. Calm down and have an ice cream cone, Joe. The Zabrina stem is cool, but in comparison with the Reticulata, it goes in C tier. C tier is reasonable, but I'm willing to bump it to B tier if you have strong feelings, Joe. You bet I have strong feelings. Come on, man. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. You still with us, Joe? Yeah, I think he's on another call. Let's drop it in C tier and keep moving. Fine by me. I'll tell you something interesting about the New Guinea. Its variegation pretty much stays consistent, unlike some plants that lose and gain it again. Agreed. The New Guinea is beautiful. Guinea, Donald. It's clearly Guinea. Guinea, Guinea, who cares? This plant slaps. Put it in A tier before Joe jumps back on and wants to put it in D tier. We got a crowd pleaser next, the Tiny Dancer. I think it's easily in A tier. I don't get what people like about this plant so much. It's a cast iron plant. It's popular with normies because it's so easy to take care of. Being easy isn't a bad thing, but alocasius in general are pretty easy. That's fair. Still, it belongs in D tier. It's boring and hardly looks like an alocasia. Stop right now. The Tiny Dancer goes in S tier. You put that plant in D tier and I'm walking. Let's just split the difference and put it in B tier. Fine. No, A minus at the least. We carved out an entire category for Donald's favorite. Mine goes there too. Joe, you haven't made a great case for the Tiny Dancer other than it being your favorite. Yeah, and what was Donald's defense for the Golden Dragon? He likes gold? We can just review the transcript, Joe. I made the greatest defense for the Golden Dragon. Airtight. Attorneys say that my Golden Dragon defense was the best they've ever heard. And don't even think about demoting it, Barack. 
This tier list is a sham if it moves down one level. No one is talking about demoting the Golden Dragon. I think there is room for Tiny Dancer and A minus. I disagree vehemently. But fine, A minus. Just put it after the Golden Dragon. Nice. What's next? The Platinum. Now there's an Alocasia. Oh, here we go again. Donald, you simp over every Alocasia name after a precious metal. What can I say? I have a large collection of precious metals, and I love collecting platinum, gold, and silver alocasias. Put it in S tier. I can't with this anymore. I'm out. I've got to water my geraniums anyway. Watering geraniums, Joe? Who are you? Dave from Flight of the Concords? Are you going to tie a hose to a watering can and use it as a mason chain? We're almost done here, Donald. Do you want to keep going? Nah, I'm good. I've got to get to the ribbon-cutting ceremony at Mar-a-Lago's Botanical Garden. We've got some new plants you wouldn't believe. Antoro Velvet, Caput, Aslani, you name it. Nice. Michelle and I need to come visit it sometime. You're always welcome. Bring the fam. Lates.